Greetings my movie geeks. I often wonder why I pay for Disney Plus. Yes, we get quality shows like Loki, WandaVision, The Mandalorian, among others. Stuff to come. And you get their back catalogue of hundreds of hours of movies and TV. Some I can take or leave, but then they release new films like Luca without any extra cost and it makes me and my wallet happy. Please like, share, subscribe and ring that bell to be notified every time we release a video. Luca is directed by Enrico Casarosa and follows a sea monster Luca as he, like other Pixar and Disney characters before him, wants something more from life. In this case, Luca dreams of venturing to the surface to see what's beyond the shore. It's a simple premise that is chock full of underlying themes that all, in my opinion, seem to hit. The film has a huge blend of styles that are reminiscent of Federico Fellini and Hayao Miyazaki. I think it shows. There's a calmness that comes with the setting. Maybe I just long for a holiday in a far off country, but seeing the bright colours of the sea and trees mixed with the rustic Italian style village made me long for a trek to the airport to leave everything behind for a warmer climate. But hey ho, maybe next year. Luca is a tale about friendship and independence. Uh, Luca goes against his family to see what's beyond the shore and meets Alberto and their friendship is solely based on getting their hands on a Vespa. The story, this, st this part of the story is like uh, Vittorio De Sico's 946 Italian film Shoeshine where two street kids save their money from shoeshining to buy a horse. What gets me about Luca is that it's one of the first Pixar movies that doesn't lean on giving uh, an emotional blow. There's the moment near the end where the sea monsters are seen by scared humans, but it doesn't go to the heights of earlier movies such as Up or even Soul. You can watch my review here. Casarosa is extremely talented at producing gorgeous visuals and there seems to be a link between this and his 2011 Pixar short La Luna that even my eight-year-old pointed out. If you haven't watched that short, I'd go and watch it. It was Oscar winning too. It's a beautiful short and it's also on Disney+. Plus. Casarosa and his team have made this film feel almost stop motion as well, giving characters a physical look that you could see Aardman or Leica doing, but it is still extremely Pixar. When watching films like this, I like to use kids uh, as a kind of test to see whether a film predominantly made for kids is good, and the consensus is they enjoyed it thoroughly. And like me, my eight-year-old is now wanting to go on holiday. Maybe next year. I thoroughly enjoyed this film. It tells a great tight story and has a number of plots from the swim and bike race to Luca's fish parents hot on his tail to take him home. It doesn't meander, making Luca an enjoyable and fairly quick film. That it also happily leaves its mark on you. I am surprised that Disney didn't put this behind a paywall, but I guess it's probably because they've seen the results of uh, when they put Soul on at Christmas. I'm going to give Luca a 4 out of 5, making it a good movie. I'd go and watch it. I don't want to spoil it too much. Uh, and I'd like to know what you thought of it when you've seen it, if you've seen it. Let me know in the comments. And remember, please like, share, subscribe, and ring that bell to be notified every time we release a video. Thanks for watching. You do it now. Just say the thing. What's wrong with you, stupido? <gasps>